वेलकम बैक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट नंबर नाइन पॉलीगॉन्स इन द कॉर्डिनेट इन दिस लेसन यू विल क्लासीफाई टू डी एंड थ्री डी शेप्स बाई आइडेंटिफाइंग योर प्रॉपर्टीज सम ऑफ दैम विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड एंड सम ऑफ दैम विच वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस नाउ एंड बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस लेसन यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब पोजिशन ऑन अ टू डी ग्रेड एज कोऑर्डिनेट्स इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्रन टू डिस्क्राइब मूवमेंट्स बिटवीन पोजिशन एंड ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ अ गिवन यूनिट to the left right and up down to plot specified points and draw sides to complete a given polygon unit 9b is all about polygons and coordinates and how you can link the polygons into the coordinates come on let's study that here i have one example i shown in the figure that how the polygons are being plotted in the coordinate system so we have basically two coordinates the x coordinate and the y coordinate one more figure that is elaborated in which we have the x axis and the y axis and a polygon is plotted on those two axes so if we talk about the coordinate pairs we have two coordinate pairs as i just stated we total have four quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant but for now we are going to focus on the first quadrant the quadrant in which the value of x coordinate and the y coordinate both are positive is known as the first quadrant an x coordinate value and a y coordinate value gives us a coordinate pair x y which tells the position of a specific point in the coordinate system for example you can see here we have x axis with the positive values then we have the y axis with the positive values and then we have a specific point which shows the coordinate pairs 2 and 3 in which 2 is the value of the x coordinate and 3 is the value of y coordinate as you can just remember that in alphabetical order x comes first and y comes afterwards so that is why when making the coordinate pairs we have x values first and y values afterwards coordinate pairs can be used to draw shapes on a grid we can join different points and draw a shape on those grids the left right horizontal direction is called the x axis this one the up down vertical direction is called the y axis this one so you can just remember by the section that this right left is the x axis and this up down is the y axis now if we study about the translating polygons you may be wondering what are what do you mean by like translating so let's study that translation is sliding a figure in any direction without changing its shape size or orientation for example we just drag on some object from one place to another it will not change its shape it will not change its size it will just change its position our translation always move on object but it does not turn it flip it or change its size as in shown in the figure we have one polygon that is triangle and which is translated above right and we have a new shape just the position is changed the shape remains the same the size remains the same okay so now moving to one another example i am going to show you that how the polygons are translated i am giving you example of a trapezium if i am going to draw a trapezium in the coordinate system here it has different coordinate pairs it has four corners so it will have four coordinate pairs let's see how they are made first of all this one one and one so we have the x axis one and y axis one then we have another point in which we have the value of x as one and y as three then the third point we both have three three and on the fourth point it's five one now i am going to translate this polygon along the x axis left right direction along the x axis to see this i am moving it on the right side so here the new translated polygon is formed along the x axis now if i want to translate the polygon along the x axis what i will do see here i am just going to move that shape 
along the y axis which is up and down and the new coordinate pairs will be formed in which the values of x will remain the same while the y will change here is some of the demo which i have just made for you people so that you can translate <coughs> the polygons this is using the paint i have drawn triangle with three coordinate points if i'm going to move this triangle five points upwards along the y axis then let's see what happens i am going to move this triangle from each point five points ahead upwards along y axis see i am differentiating the colors so that you get to know that the down point with red one the top point with blue one so here i will draw another triangle which will remain the same but it will change its position along the y axis now if i go along the x axis here you can see i will have a new triangle along the x axis moving along four points in the right direction you see this and then the thing which is move upward to downward is along the y axis and the shape which is moved from right to left along x axis hey we have game board this is very interesting game spacecraft junior you can just copy this link into the lab and then you can play i'm going to show you a demo that how to play this game you simply have to copy the link on the google tab and then this game will be played make sure you should have the adopt flash player to run this game simply you just have to see the coordinate pairs which is here 0 and 5 0 is on x axis y on 5 and simply click on it oh yes you got one point then next the coordinate pairs are 11 and 8 11 on x axis and 8 on y axis they join here and then yay we reached it Here I have mentioned some of the tasks which you can do to reinforce unit number nine B, which includes different worksheets or games and some of the written tasks. They are very interesting. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Best of luck. Thank you so much. <music>